to find equation of a plane, we need two things. A fixed point on the plane and a normal vector to the plane. A normal vector to the plane is that vector which is perpendicular to the plane at each point. Here we can see a fixed point A is given and a normal vector N is also given. We mark an arbitrary point B on this plane and then find the vector AB which is equal to position vector of B minus position vector of A and we get that AB is equal to X minus X naught comma Y minus Y naught comma Z minus Z naught. The vector N is perpendicular to the vector AB. Therefore, by the vector algebra, the dot product of two perpendicular vectors is equal to zero. Substitute the value of N, then the value of B, and take the dot product. We get A into X minus X naught plus B into Y minus Y naught plus C into Z minus Z naught equal to zero and that is the required equation of a plane. In example number one we are given a point A and a normal vector to the plane N. Let us find equation of the plane. For equation of the plane we need the value of A X naught B Y naught C Z naught. From point A, we can see X naught is 1, Y naught is 0, Z naught is minus 1. From the normal vector, we can see A is 2, B is also 2, C is equal to 1. Substituting these values in equation of the plane, we get 2 into x minus 1 plus 2 into y minus 0 plus 1 into z plus 1 equal to 0. When we simplify this, we get equation of the plane which is 2x plus 2y plus z minus 1 equal to 0. This is a homework. Find the x intercept the y-intercept and z-intercept of this equation. In example number two, we are given three points and we need to find equation of this plane. To find equation of the plane, we need two things. A point which is given and a normal vector from which we shall obtain the value of a, b and c. To find the normal vector, this is equal to the cross product of AB with AC. Now AB is equal to position vector of B minus position vector of A. And when we simplify, we get 0 comma minus 1 comma 1. To find AC, this is equal to position vector of C minus position vector of A. When we simplify, we get AC is equal to 1 comma 0 comma 2. Now, to find the cross product of AB with AC, the procedure is write I, J, K in the first row. Then write the component of AB in the second row. The component of AC in the third row. Now this is a determinant of order 3 cross 3. Expand this determinant and simplify it. We get n is equal to minus 2 comma 1 comma 1. From this we can see a is minus 2, b is 1, c is also 1. From point A, we get the value of X naught which is 1, the value of Y naught is 3, the value of Z naught is 1. Substituting these values in this equation and after simpli simplifying we get that equation of the plane is minus 2x plus y plus z minus 2 equal to 0. This is a homework. Show that 
the vector n which we have obtained is perpendicular to that plane. Find an equation of a plane through a point A and containing this line. Again to find equation of a plane we need two things. The first is a point which is given and the next is a normal vector. To find a normal vector let us obtain two more points from this straight line by putting t is equal to 0 and then t is equal to 1. When we substitute t is equal to 0, we get x is equal to 3, y is equal to 2 and z is equal to 5 from which we get point B. When we substitute t is equal to 1, we get x is equal to 1 y is equal to 6 and z is equal to 1 and we get a point C which is given here. Now we have three points A, B and C. So the remaining procedure is same just like in the example number 2. We get the value of AB then the value of AC. And from this we obtain a normal vector which is equal to the cross product of AB and AC which can be obtained by expanding this determinant in which in the first row we write I, J, K. In the second row we write the components of AB. In the third row we put the values of AC. When we expand this determinant and simplify, we get the normal vector minus 24 comma 4 comma 16. So here the value of A is minus 24, B is 4, C is 16 and from the given point A, we get the value of x naught which is 1, y naught is minus 2, z naught is 3. Substituting these values in the equation of a plane, we get this equation. Divide each term by 4, we get this equation and when we simplify, we get equation of the plane which is minus 6x plus y plus 4z minus 4 equal to 0. Let us find an equation of a plane through a given point A and parallel to another plane whose equation is 3x plus y plus z minus 7 equal to 0. First of all we need to find the normal vector of the given plane by comparing it with the general equation of a plane here a is equal to 3 b is equal to 1 c is also equal to 1 and we get that the normal vector n is equal to 3 comma 1 comma 1 we can see from the figure that these two planes are parallel so the normal vector of the given plane is also a normal vector of the required plane. Now we have a normal vector also we have a point by substituting values in equation of the plane and after simplifying we get that equation of the required plane is 3x plus y plus z minus 5 equal to 0. Find an equation of the plane through a point A and perpendicular to the straight line whose parametric equations are given here. To find equation of the plane we know that we need a point which is given and a normal vector to the plane which is not given but a straight line is given which is perpendicular to that plane. So we can find the direction ratios of that straight line and we can see as it is perpendicular 
to so the direction vector will be normal vector of this plane to find the direction vector we compare these equations with the general parametric equations of a straight line so we get the value of a which is 1 the value of b which is 3 the value of c which is 4 now the direction vector of the given straight line v is equal to 1 comma 3 comma 4 but this direction vector is perpendicular to this plane therefore the normal vector of the plane is equal to v now the normal vector is given the point is also given so we substitute values in general equation of the plane and after simplification we get that x plus 3y plus 4z minus 34 equal to 0 is the required equation of the plane. In example number 6 we need to find equation of a plane where two points A and B on that plane are given and another plane which is perpendicular to the required plane its equation is also given here from the given equation we can find normal vector of the, that plane which is n1 equal to 4 comma minus 1 comma 4 now we can see that this normal vector of the given plane is parallel to the required plane that is why we write n1 is parallel to the required plane and hence this n1 is a vector of the required plane from point a and b we can find another vector ab which is equal to 2 comma 0 comma minus 2 now two vectors of the required plane are given so we can find the normal vector of the required plane which is n1 and that is equal to the cross product of vector ab and the vector n1 using determinant and after expanding we get that n is equal to minus 2 comma minus 12 comma minus 2 a point A is also given in the question so substituting these values in equation of the plane and after simplification we get the equation of the required plane is x plus 6y plus z minus 16 equal to 0. That's all.